upgrade right now. You can't! How many ultra lists? Oh my goodness. Well, I would just suggest getting drones on the gas right now. But if you just want to try to win with nine ultras, I assume that's nine. Uh, it's probably not nine since these are drones. We're going to see. This is it. This is the final moments. And assuming that the game ends in about three minutes, I don't think it's going to last much longer. But I want to see these ultralists get slaughtered first. How many ultralists do you think it takes to take down this many marines? How many nukes do you think he has? One. I want to see it go down. I wonder if this... Ooh. Hello. Oh my goodness. Do you have one more nuke to show us? Are you going to show us one more nuke? Okay, that, I don't know if that's going to be the most extreme nuke. Those are cool. Does 300 damage to 500 units. Okay, so you need a couple of nukes to take those down 100%. Oh my goodness, a little cut. Oh, but Snipe. If you use the Snipe, you could actually really get the edge right here. Snipe does 45 damage, I think it is. 50 or something like that. To so these guys, it'll take them down really fast because it ignores armor. <laughs> well, the Zerg player is kind of winning because he can lag a bit. And the Zerg player is kind of winning because he's not going to be dying anytime soon. But it's not like he's got a base to defend or anything. I mean, everything's dead except for like two drones. I mean, he's got the minerals and stuff to make more units, but he's making ultra. This is it, the final push. What's the defense? Marines! <sighs> what's, your, what's your defense plan? I'll make lots of Marines. Good idea. Needs to Take advantage of those creep tumors, the ones that are just kind of idling there. Oh my goodness. What happens? With, oh my goodness, I bet he'll use a, a mule to slow them down. He's like, look, it's a mule. <laughs> what beats ultralisks? Marines. Marines beat ultralisks. <laughs> I'm going to run over, over here to the mineral line now. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> and Project Fox knows that these ultralisks are pretty much all that's left for the Zerg player. He's got some Marines over here. I think they're Marines, but I kind of want to see this. Look at that OP. They're like hitting the Marines on this side of the built. Are they? No, they're not. Oh, here comes the Thor. Thor is here without the 250. They're just taking too much damage. They can't break the wall. This is like the Eidra game. I'm going to break through you with lots of ultralisks. And goodbye. Okay. SCVs for the win. <laughs> LOL. This is just the weirdest game. GG LOL. GG LOL. Very impressive. Most impressive. I started off raping six rank diamonds. Well, I hope not with your 4K minerals you did. Look at that. What's your win plan? SCVs. Your SCVs are under attack. And slowly fall. Ha ha. Ha ha. The more I play one day, I get worse. Oh, Slash has left the game. Okay. Well, guys and gals, which currently I believe is just guys. If you're a gal watching this, I apologize. You can send me emails to my email address. <laughs> just kidding. Please send me replays. R W S 2 replays at gmail.com. I want your replays. I will cast them. If they're cool, I'll say nice things about you. If you macro fail, I'll probably say that too. Also, I've decided to start kind of giving uh, demonstration games. If you do a game and you want me to cast it to tell you how to improve, I'll be glad to do that. However, you got to know that if you're Terran or Zerg, I can't give you as much as if you're Protoss. Protoss players, if you'd like advice on a game or feel that you want me to tell you how to do better, since I know how the game works pretty well, just send me the replay and say, could you tell me how to play better, I guess, the best way is, could you please look at this game and critique it in a positive way and say macro fail a few, a few times for me. Anyway, guys, I had a perfect exit... Oh, I had a perfect exit thing to say, but now I can't remember. So, anyway, have a nice day, and I'll see you later.